It's the eye video. So this is my 3PO. Been working on it. This is the one you saw in the video. But I have another set of eyes here. These are actually the first set of eyes that I made. Um, these are resin that's been painted, uh, whereas these are brass. Uh, you can see that maybe real close in there. Um, these are real nice. These are brass ones. Um, from, uh, I think their faraway creations did a run of them some time back. Uh, but what you'll mostly find these days are the resin, resin eyes. So I'm going to, uh, shoot some little videos and kind of go through step by step. This is how they kind of look after I've put them all together, but I will, um, take them apart and show you how, uh, the wiring works. So this is pretty ghetto. Um, this is uh, gaffer's tape that I poked a hole in, so you can see through it. That's what you look through. So bad, peripheral vision. Um, underneath that, I've got a few things here. So here's the wiring for the eyes. They come with these little yellow LEDs, and they go around to um, each other. So you can see I didn't even add any wiring to that. That's actually just the wires in there um, connected together. And then they're all connected in series. And then um, there's aluminum foil on the back. But if you put aluminum foil right up against the wires, it'll end up shorting them out. So there's this uh, saran wrap because that was the most ghetto thing I could think of. Um, but then and then this goes down, you get to both eyes, so there's the wires that come out, and then they go down to a connector. But that's not really all there is. There's also a resistor in there that you have to put in series with them. And I think they might be down in the base. Let me take this apart and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, there it is. Uh, this going down to there and I open it up and yeah, this is a little um, You know removable one and I broke it so I'm gonna have to replace this uh, for my backup eyes. That'll be fun um, But I looked up a little calculator. I knew it was something around like 100 or 300 and yeah, these are actually um, It's probably going to be very hard to get it to focus on those but these are orange orange brown gold which orange is three uh, according to uh, this little calculator I found, orange is three, so it'd be three, three, uh, and then brown is the multiplier, so three, three times 10, uh, and then gold tolerance of 5%. So these are basically, like I thought I remembered, about 330 ohm uh, resistors. Um, I also got some 100 something ohm resistors and put those in line. And, um, those seemed a little bright, and I wired it all up. I didn't, I didn't do all the soldering and and uh, all the work on it um, until I was like, until I had the sizes I wanted. But for me, I did a three thirty ohm. But I run this off of a nine volt uh, because each LED lowers the voltage by one point five, and so I wanted something that could handle it. So I'm I'm assuming a nine volt, or I'm, I'm going to use nine volt batteries. I know some people like to use uh, double A's or triple A's or something like that. Uh, nine volts are smaller. Um, and then what I actually do is I run them, in, I run the eyes in parallel off of that. So they both get nine volts and then they both have a uh, 330 ohm resistor. I, there, there is probably a way to wire it up where it goes through all of them. Uh, but I know in parallel, uh, that'll keep the voltage the same going to each eye, uh, and should work pretty well. So, um, it worked, worked pretty good until I broke it just now. Um, and I'll, I'll use these as backups. So I'll just need to take that off and put a new, put a new resistor in there. Um, so I put it down in this little connector so that it would be protected and it wouldn't break off from getting messed with, but now it did. Oh, well, so that's the eyes. Um, so yeah, kind of ghetto. Um, so this is the resin piece. I'll just take this one apart. I can just rebuild it. So let me see if I can do this.
this one handed. So there's the little, sorry about that. It's a little tube in there. Um, with those, um, these are just hot glued in um, at the at the edges. That wasn't obvious, so it's hot glued in on the connectors. And then this is the little resin clear grid piece, so it'll all start to fall out of there. Um, if the LEDs glued in, I don't think the other part will fall out. Um, and then behind that, I put a uh, piece of aluminum foil. Um, you you could probably cut it to fit or something so it looks a little less ghetto. And then behind that I use some foam just to help fill it in. Um, optional, I guess. Um, gives me something because this was pretty tight and I wanted something just a little softer for my eyes to rub against. Um, and then uh, gaffer's tape. And then I just put the gaffer's tape over open it. And this is actually this tube that I have. Is it pretty much the exact size of a exacto knife handle. And so um, I cut, so, cut a little X in this and then shoved the exacto knife handle through and it basically pushed it down into there and held it just fine. Um, I think I ended up cutting some of the tape out because it would kind of flop back in there. Um, but it at least gets you about the right size. So um, yeah, that's what it seems to do. And so that's what the eyes look like when they're all done. And you're looking through that little tiny hole. Um, but they look good. Uh, these metal ones were a little thinner. Um, but uh, three LEDs wired around, just kind of bent the leads on the LEDs. Um, you got to be a little careful about making sure you've got the positive and negative on the LEDs right. Um, best to use a breadboard or um, I think I did this mostly with just alligator clips uh, going into just kind of connecting them just being careful that you make sure you have the positive you gotta keep track of the positives and the negatives so the positive goes in and it goes all the way around and because um, they are diodes which means the electricity only flows one way so uh, keep that in mind too important um, this video is not brought to you by any company so I'm gonna cover up that logo uh, yeah, positives going around, negatives all together, and then the uh, resistor can be on either side. It's really just to limit the current, make sure that um, it has the right brightness and stuff. So um, I use 300. I'd really like to make it someday where I could have a switch on there, um, wire it up real fancy so that you could adjust the brightness for like indoor, outdoor, all that kind of stuff. I've also thought about putting another set of LEDs in there, like red, basically kind of in the alternate uh, positions, uh, so then it could kind of switch to evil C3PO or um, triple zero uh, if you follow um, the, the new comic series. Um, interesting character. But yeah, these are just, these are just uh, the resin, the resin eyes all painted up uh, using techniques from the painting thing. So if you've got any questions, throw them down in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you guys later.